do a technique called foil embossing. Embossing means you're pushing in and sort of making a relief, but the relief pops out. Okay, so it's an embossing. So we're going to use our um, rainforest animals or being inspired by the rainforest to create a foil embossment. So the first step is to draw a animal, okay? And we have little cardboard pieces. We need to make sure our animal fills up the entire piece of cardboard. We don't want this little tiny animal right here because every line we draw, we have to then go back and put a piece of string over it or yarn over it, okay? So we need to make sure these lines, even if our animal wants to go off the side of the paper, that's great. We just wanna make sure that we don't have this little tiny animal right in the middle. And Miss Cunningham's drawing a cat, some sort of cat family. Simple shapes, okay? Simple, simple shapes, because like I said before, every line that we draw is going to be covered by a piece of yarn, okay? And we're not gonna be able to see this cardboard piece at the very end, like this. Our entire cardboard piece is covered. Okay, we can't see the cardboard. So if our cardboard, if we mess up and I, I accidentally do that, oh, I don't want that line there, it's okay. I don't have to put a piece of yarn there, okay? Or if our cardboard is bent, it's okay. Straighten it back out, it's not gonna show. Or if we mess up, we can flip it over and redo because it this will not show. Okay, on the back of your cardboard, you need to have your name right in the middle. Because when we put our foil on, we have to wrap our foil around. And if our name's up here at the top, it's not gonna show. So put your name right in the middle. Okay, this is all we will have time to do today um, for the first day of art because I'm going to talk to you a lot about foil embossing and about the rainforest. So this is all we have time to do for day one. So day two, the second day you guys come into art, we'll be taking this um, animal, okay? And we will have a glue bottle. Let me pick that off of there. Oh, hold on. You might have to do this too. You might have to just pick your glue bottle, get all that glue off the top. Sometimes people don't clean it before they put it back. And this was actually Miss Cunningham didn't clean the glue. Okay, so you'll have your um, image, you'll have a glue bottle, and you'll have some yarn. Now, boys and girls, it does not matter what color yarn you get because can you see the green yarn? No, you cannot see the yarn. So if you get black and you don't want black or you get brown and you don't like brown, it's all right. Miss Cunningham's putting out the yarn that I have the most of, okay? So I'm probably not gonna put out purples and pinks and blues because I don't have a lot of those colors. Okay, now with your yarn and your glue, you're going to draw a line over the line that you drew. You're gonna use your glue and draw a line of glue over the line that you already drew, okay? And then you're gonna push your yarn on it and stick. Push and stick, push and stick. Then, with your scissors, you're going to snip the yarn a little bit shorter than what you need. Okay, I say a little bit shorter because then you can shape it back to where you want, okay? I'm not gonna try to do really big areas at the same time because the yarn will start slipping and it'll be frustrating. Okay, put a little glue around the nose. And then I just wrap the yarn around the nose, staying right on top of that glue. And then I snip the yarn a little bit shorter than what I need. Now it slipped a little bit, so now I go back and I reshape it. 
and I press it down, okay? Now let's do the whiskers. These are three little short pieces of yarn. So I'm gonna lay it down and snip. Lay it down and snip. You're gonna get glue on your fingers, boys and girls. If you do, you don't have to go to the sink every five seconds. Just rub your fingers together and you'll see it'll start making glue boogers and then you can just wipe off the glue boogers, okay? And then lay it down and snip. Now, boys and girls, you're going to do this technique on everything that you have drawn with your pencil. Now, remember the mistake Miss Cunningham made? I, I'm not gonna put yarn on this because I don't want that to show. That's a mistake. Okay. So this is what we're doing for day two. At the end, it will look like this. Now I have some um, yarn sticking off the top. So I'm just going to snip that. So at the end of day two, your image <clears throat> will be covered with yarn. Okay, now day three. Day three. For the third day you come into art, you will take your um, yarn image. You'll be done with the scissors. You'll be done with the glue bottle. This time, you'll have a glue stick. And you'll have a piece of foil. <clears throat> okay, the foil has a dull side and it has a shiny side. You can pick whichever side you want. Now let me check and make sure I put my name on it. Yes, I did, right in the middle. Okay, now with your glue stick, we're trying to rub all the white areas. It's gonna get gluey and gloppy, it's okay. That's not gonna show. I just wanna make sure that my glue is getting on the cardboard because that's gonna ensure the foil sticking better. If it gets on the yarn, it's okay. It's getting on my yarn right there, that's all right. Remember, we can be sloppy with this because it's not gonna show. If I wanna get the tops up here, I can. And the bottom. Okay, now when it's time to put the foil on, on the third day, like I said, you can put it down on the doll side or the shiny side. I'm gonna pick the shiny side. And everybody's gonna have a piece of felt, a little tiny piece of felt at their table. You're going to rub all on your foil and you're gonna start to see your image popping through. This is the embossing that we're doing. Okay, now when you have it just a little bit pressed down where the foil's not gonna move anymore, I want you to flip it over. And cut the foil about an inch. Now remember, Ms. Cunningham likes to use my fingers for measurement. This is one inch, this is about one inch. So I'm gonna put my finger down. Yeah, that's pretty good. About one inch around my cardboard doesn't have to be exact because this is just going to be the back. We're folding it over. Okay. Now we can fold it over like we're wrapping a present. We don't need to put any glue on the back. It'll stay just like that. Okay, now flip it back over and with your felt, you're gonna finish your rubbing. We're trying to get the foil to stick down on all that glue that we just pressed in. If you wanna use your fingertips and your fingernails and kind of um, squish that foil together on the yarn, it probably won't rip unless you're doing it super duper hard. The foil probably won't rip because we have that buffer. We have this, foil, this um, felt buffer between our fingers and the foil. Because the foil is kind of fragile, but since we have this buffer, 
it'll allow us to push a little bit harder. Now you probably can start to see how my yarn is popping out. It's being embossed. The foil is being embossed because of the string. And I'm just pressing kind of hard. We put all that glue down, so I'm trying to get the foil to stick to that glue. Down here at the bottom. Okay. That's probably all we're gonna have time to do for day three. Now the final day of our project will be day four. So this will take four art classes to complete, okay? You're gonna get some Sharpies and you're going to be able to color your um, foil embossed image with the Sharpies, okay? Now pay attention when you're coloring your Sharpie, you're not gonna wanna get it on top of this yarn. Remember the yarn under there that's allowing our foil to pop up? We wanna keep all of our um, coloring on the cardboard, on the flat pieces, okay? That way our foil um, will pop up and we'll be able to see the embossment. Here's some of my string right here. Here's some of my string. When it's time to color with the Sharpies, you can do a realistic coloring, like Miss Cunningham did with my tiger. I have a, or lion, I have an orange face, a red nose, a yellow and brown mane. Or you can do it more abstract where you can I could have drawn a pr half purple face and half blue face or um, a purple mane or I don't know you guys can use your imagination with this it does not have to be realistic looking okay 